Hi, everyone, and welcome to At Katie Couric. In 1985, National Geographic published an image of an Afghan girl with haunting and brilliant eyes who captivated the world. At that time, her nation was at war with the Soviet Union. 25 years later, Time Magazine's cover portrays the disturbing image of another Afghan girl, Aisha. Her nose and ears were cut off by the Taliban because she tried to flee her abusive husband and in-laws. On the cover, the words, what happens if we leave Afghanistan? My guests are Rick Stengel, Managing Editor of Time, and Zayma Corson Neff, Deputy Director of the Children's Rights Division at Human Rights Watch. And as always, before our conversation, I'd like to quickly thank the sponsor of our web show, Dove. Thank you both so much for coming in. I really, really appreciate it. Rick, I know that you went through a lot thinking about this cover, and, and you didn't do it without a great deal of thought. Mm -hmm. Tell me some of the things you were wrestling with when it came to deciding whether or not you would put Aisha on the cover of Time magazine. Well, as you said, Katie, it's hard to look at. It's a very graphic image. It's very powerful. It's very disturbing. And, and I thought about it from all different kinds of perspectives. Obviously, one about her own safety, which is something we looked into, and uh, we we're helping her get out of Afghanistan and get surgery. Um, I thought about it from the perspective of how would children react to it, and we talked to child psychologists about it, and um, not that that allayed all of my fears, but, but, it, but it was interesting what they had to say. So, well, tell me but before you go on, what about did the child psychologist say? You know, uh, they said that, that, that younger kids in particular would find it disturbing because they would just interpret it as bad things can happen in the world and they can happen to me. You know, the older you get, when I showed it to, I have two sons, my older boy asked me, well, what happened to her? Why did they do that? Who did it? I mean, that kind of cause and effect is something that, you know, we as adults do and only older children do. So for younger children, it's a very scary image. And finally, of course, you know, the, the, the issue for me was this is such an important debate going on. What we do in Afghanistan? How long do we stay? What, are, what is our mission there? Um, what, is, what is the nature of our commitment to the Afghanistan people? that I just felt that I, I really wanted us to weigh in in a powerful way with one particular point of view. I mean, there have been so many different points of view, and, and we had a fantastic story by our Afghanistan-Pakistan bureau chief, Aaron Baker, about the role of women in Afghan society and how that had changed since 2001 and since the U.S. invasion and the, and the evolution of women in, in Afghan society. And, and to me, when the American public, when the administration, when President Obama is thinking about making these decisions, this is a factor, an important factor that should weigh in. And for all of those reasons, I felt that it was important to publish this image. You've gotten some blowback as a result of this, haven't mm -hmm. you? Uh, as if, it, it's interesting, there's no question mark, what happens if we leave Afghanistan? Was that intentional? Well, I, I never, I, I mean, uh, I'm, you know, I, I think question, I think we answer questions, I don't think we ask them. And, um, you know, to me, this is a, a story about, again, you know, is, is this what is going to happen to every woman in Afghanistan, you know, if the U.S. leaves? But, but the story has a strong point of view saying, in fact, the role of women has been enhanced, it has been modernized, um, you know, you know uh, girls are going to school, women are in parliament, women are on television, their lives have changed in different parts of, of Afghanistan. And, and so I wanted people to be confronted with the idea that there are consequences of us leaving. Consequences on humanitarian grounds, consequences that people will understand and relate to, particularly women can relate to. So I wanted this to be a factor in the conversation going forward. You can make the decision and say, you know what, we can leave and, and, and women will be damaged, but I wanted people to be cognizant of that. Same with you.